Alright, uh, this video, or today's video, is going to be on this Peerless uh, 700 5-speed transmission. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off and I'm going to show you what is inside and explain to you how these transmissions work so that by the end of this video you will have a uh, basic understanding of what makes these transmissions work. But before I take the f uh, cover off, the top cover, um, there's a couple things on the outside of the transmission that I want to point out. And the first one is this neutral safety switch right here. Um, basically what this does is it allows the lawnmower or whatever your gearbox is on um, to start in uh, neutral only. So if it's in any other gear other than neutral, it will not start. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just take this out and I'll kind of show you how it works here. There's uh, normally two wires that get connected uh, on the top here. Uh, I don't know if those are two ground wires or two positive wires that get connected there. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, there's what I'm talking about. It's got a little ball on it. So that little ball gets pressed. So when it's pressed in, it won't start. When it's released like that, um, it'll allow the circuitry to go through it and uh, it will start. So, uh, and then the second thing on this transmission is this little Allen plug here. Okay. Uh, if you take that out, that has a spring and a ball uh, at the end of it. And what that does is that holds the shift fork uh, in gear. But it's not just that that holds the transmission in gear. I'll explain that a little later in the video when I get the cover off. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down real quick. And I'm going to take this cover off. Okay, so here's the inside of this transmission here. And as you can see, like I said, it's a five speed. So we have one, two, three, four, five gears on this shaft, and one, two, three, four, five gears on this shaft, uh, six including this little uh, drive gear here. Um, now, in case you're wondering, uh, yes, there is supposed to be grease in this transmission. I took the grease out because I use these transmissions for lawnmower racing. And I usually fill them with a grease gear oil mix because the grease that's in here, um, we're spinning these transmissions way too fast for that grease that's inside. So. Uh, it'll it'll never lubricate the gears. Um, you know, it, 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 you'll just blow the transmission up using that grease. So we fill them with gear oil and uh, run it like that. So um, so we got the gears here. We got the five-speed gears. Um, we got our shift lever and fork. Um, that has two little tabs here that ride on this collar and when you turn this okay like that it moves these shift keys in between each of these gears which in turn um, selects your different gears so um, this is first gear, second, third, fourth, 
and fifth gear. Um, these are your, this is the output shaft, and this one here is your input shaft. Um, and this here is your reverse chain. Um, when we use these in the lawnmowers, uh, we do not run this reverse chain because, uh, like I said, we are spinning these transmissions way too fast and, well, faster than what they were designed to go. And if that chain breaks off inside, um, it'll get jammed between the gears and it'll lock your transmission down and then your transmission will pretty much be garbage. So. Let me take this shift fork out here. If I can get it. There's the two little tabs I was telling you about. I'm just going to go ahead and set that to the side. So, here's your shift collar. Okay. Now, some of these transmissions are a two key. Uh, this one's a four key. I have another transmission just like this. Um, it's a four key, and then the one that I have in my mower right now is a two key. So, uh, basically, what makes these things work, okay, is you can see right here, there's a thin washer right there, okay? Um, in between each of these gears, there's one of these thin washers, and the purpose of that washer is the shift keys kind of when you shift into gear these get compressed down and they click underneath they slide underneath the washer and then they click into the gear so it would click into uh, this gear here which is first and then second or third whichever gear you choose as you shift these uh, keys will click into each and every one of those gears. Um, there's notches on the inside of these gears in which these shift keys sit, which when the input shaft is turning like this, I have it neutral right now, but when these keys are locked into the notches inside these gears, that's what holds you in gear. Um, well, that's what these washers do. They hold the shift keys in gear. So, like I was saying earlier, these notches here is what holds the, um, the ball and the spring. The uh, ball sets inside these grooves here which also helps to hold the transmission in gear. Um, again, like I said, that's your reverse chain. Um, I can show you real quick how reverse works. Um, so, okay, so right now I have it in neutral. So I'm going to reach under here, watch this shaft right here. Let's see. Spin the input shaft. See the splines are not moving. So there's notches in there. So if I spin this a little bit, okay, it just clicked into gear. Now it's in reverse. So if I spin the shaft, see now the splines are moving. Okay, and then if I take it out of gear and spin the shaft, 
the input shaft, the splines are not moving. Um, there's four bronze bushings on each shaft. There's a bronze bushing there and a bronze bushing there. Um, and then on the inside, there's thin washers in there. Those just help reduce the play um, on the shaft so that the shaft isn't moving side to side while the transmission is running. Um, so other than that, um, with like I said, with the spacers between each and every one of these gears, um, there is a certain way that these washers need to go if you are taking this transmission apart. Um, one side has a little beveled edge, and one side has a kind of recessed edge, so when you take your transmission apart, it's very important to take note of what position or which way these washers were facing so that you can get it back together correctly. Because if it's not put together correctly, um, you have nothing but shift problems. And then these gears right here, uh, in between these gears, there is no washer. Um, it's not needed because you're not. There's nothing to shift on this uh, gear set here. So um, your input shaft gear is. You can't really. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit of it down there, but that meshes with this gear here, and then it turns these gears just like that. So, um, anyway, that's uh, pretty much wraps it up for this video here, um, and how these little shift keys here work purpose of these washers and whatnot. Um, anyway, if you found this video helpful, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, give my video a thumbs up, and any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment box below. And um, uh, if you guys want to see uh, my racing lawnmower, uh, I got it sitting behind me. So, um, uh, the more subscribers that I get, and if I get enough requests, then I will go ahead and post up a video uh, on the lawnmower. So, anyway, other than that, um, take care. See you next time. Bye.